Good morning, folks. Nine out of ten comments I see on these videos could be answered by watching the background videos, How to Watch the Sun, and the Energy from Space series. With over 100,000 observers, I cannot be repeating myself dozens of times every day. And also, starting today, there is zero tolerance for distractive comments that steal time and focus from new learners and those truly wanting to share. Wild, unsubstantiated claims, religious discourse, or whatever topic unrelated to this video plagues your conscious will now get you blocked. Bring it to the forums on suspiciousobservers.org and leave the YouTube comments section for discussion relevant to the video, especially because there are specialized forum groups that stay on topic. You can make your own if you want, and for those of you who have, you'll notice that you have moderator abilities for your group and you control it. Seriously? Let's build the sun and human health group up a bit. I love this one. By the way, they told me I needed my own server to handle the traffic we're generating here. That's pretty cool, and I'm working on it. Off to the bayou. Louisiana sinkhole. As many of you know, it keeps growing. People are leaving. Texas Brine is buying out homes as some north of the event have low levels of gas seepage already. After a recent crumbling underground, new oil and natural gases are seen oozing to the surface. If you live there... It's probably worth taking TB's offer if they give you one. Well, what do we have here? Australian Bureau of Meteorology. You cannot just turn off this damn buoy every time I do a video on it. That's three times now, guys. The deviation observable at the buoy southwest of 53046 is minor, likely not as significant of an event. Tropical Storm Eric still brushing Baja, but it is on the decline and will turn west shortly. Salik in the West Pacific has already hit typhoon status is on a beeline for landfall just south of Shanghai. Chantal in the Atlantic, her path is set, not expecting hurricane strength, indeed not nearly as impressive aesthetically as the storm threatening China. Southwest Pacific, straightforward, got rain on the map and their pathways are modeled plainly. Convergence in northern Europe, will bring watches to those coastlines while the energy inside this high pressure cell will draw from the Mediterranean on two southern coastlines as well. You see the pressure convergence lines in the north central states but more than pressure. Here meets air masses from Canada and the Gulf of Mexico. In the air above you their temperature difference, moisture and electric potential will find equilibrium and harmony. It's the stuff they dump down on us ground dwellers that can get dicey. Been over a week without a gamma ray burst and Sonoma is clear. Getting tired of watching Delta spots fail to hit M flare status, I am seeing a lot of decay. This monster crested at two different latitudes and appeared to have nice round umbras leading the way, with lots of complexity. But since then, the leading spot has elongated and stopped all magnetic mixing. The constant morphing belies just how many smaller umbras are in decay, and as of this morning, I'm down to two Delta spots to watch. Same obvious too as yesterday, but the backside is in further decay. I'd also mention that part of the earth facing quiet is that departing spots often pop as they crest as well, and if this does, it might catch our magnetic connection to the sun sitting just behind the limb. Solar wind is calm, minor density spikes, but the magnetic shields are holding nicely, and the KP index is near the baseline. Quick word on solar polarity. Wasn't sure if the negative would hop back up quickly, but it hasn't for now, and it appears both solar poles have flipped. I expect the south to actually flip back above the baseline briefly at the end of this year into early 2014, but then polarity is diverging once more. Don't forget that the flare challenge delta spots did manage to get out a minor CME, expected to hit tonight. Between then and now, we have Mercury set to conjoin the sun and also a new moon. I guess that makes a four-way lineup of the sun, Mercury, Moon, and Earth today. Eyes open, no fear. It's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.